Hey everyone, today, we're diving into the exciting world of Terraform. A powerful tool that lets you manage your infrastructure as code. That basically means you can define and build your cloud resources using easy to understand files instead of clicking around in confusing dashboards. If you're new to Terraform or just want to brush up on your skills, this roadmap will be your guide over the next 12 days. We'll break it down into two easy to follow sections, Terraform Foundations and Advanced Techniques. First week is about Terraform Foundation. Think of this week as building your Terraform superpowers. On day one, you can start with understanding what Terraform is and why it's awesome for managing infrastructure. After that you install Terraform on your machine and set up for your chosen cloud platform, like AWS, GCP, or Azure. On day two and three, get ready to write your first Terraform code. You can focus and learn the basic structure of Terraform files and how to use essential commands like init, plan, and apply. By the end, you can easily provision simple resources like an EC2 instance on AWS or a virtual machine on Azure. Day 4 is about learning variables and state management. Imagine being able to easily change configurations without rewriting code. That's the power of variables in Terraform. After that explore state management, which keeps track of your infrastructure and ensures everything stays in sync. Want to organize your Terraform code for better readability and reusability? Modules are your friend. On day 5, you can learn how to create and use modules for building complex infrastructure. On day 6, you can focus on provisioning more advanced resources like load balancers, databases, and even Kubernetes clusters. So we are done with week 1 and you've built a solid foundation for Managing your infrastructure as code with Terraform. Day 7 and 8 are about learning templates, loops and logic. Now it's time to get ready to automate repetitive tasks. You should learn how to use Terraform templates and loops to create resources dynamically. On day 8, you can explore conditional statements and functions to build more complex and flexible infrastructure configurations. Just like any code, it's crucial to test your Terraform configurations. On day 9, you can learn different approaches to testing, including unit testing frameworks and integration testing. Security is also important. You can explore tools to validate your infrastructure for security and compliance. Day 10 and 11 are about focusing on version control and best practices. Teamwork makes the dream work. You can learn how to integrate Terraform with version control systems like Git, allowing you to collaborate effectively with your team. On day 8, you can dive into best practices for code organization, naming conventions, and keeping your infrastructure secure. Time to put your skills to the test. On day 12, you can deploy a sample application environment with Terraform, including a web server, database, and other components. You can get Terraform project ideas from our blog and Twitter posts. You can find the link in the description for same. Congratulations! You've completed the 12-day Terraform roadmap. Once you follow this roadmap step by step, then you will have the skills to manage your infrastructure efficiently and professionally. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also share with your friend to help them to grow faster.